Hey guys, welcome back to Fate Card Friday. So today we are looking at an interesting field spell. So this is Planet X Zero Chaos Lightning. So like I said, it is a field spell. And it reads, All cards are banished instead of going to the graveyard. Alright, so did you literally just make Macrocosmos a field spell? You know that you can search with terraforming and all that good shit? Yeah, no. <laughs> No, already, like, oh my god, Macro is already super busted, but then you're gonna go ahead and make it a filled spell, and which it's even easier to search the Macro Cosmos, you can just be like, alright, terraforming, get this, fucking Macro, bam, in your face, you know, I guess the move and play decks would love this, but, you know, Macro is already a powerful card, I mean, you know, we have Dark Claw, and he's powerful, and Defriger's at one, Macro's at one, so, you know, it, it's not very, you know, smiled upon to go ahead and banish things, and move and play is a very powerful game mechanic, but to throw it as a field spell, like, come on, man, so powerful. But this card's not done. All Thunder-type monsters on the field gain 1,000 attack points. Okay. All right, so um, 2,900 Thunder King Ryo? Is that is that cool with everybody? Thunder King Ryo, 2,900, and your shit's getting banished. Is that fine? Is that fine? Hell no, that ain't fine. Man, Thunder King Ryo is already strong enough at 1,900, but 20, 2,900? Like, holy crap. That's over the attack barrier, you know? You know, you're already getting fucked up because, you know, it's really hard to get over 1,900 without inherently summoning. But 2,900? And you're shaking banished? Good fucking luck. You're not including the fact that waltz are gonna be a thousand heck stronger. Yeah, go ahead and get fucking smacked in the face for two thousand from a goddamn watt pheasant. Like, oh my god. Like, whoo, that's a lot of attack. Or a watt cobra. You know, I don't know, battery men? That's an additional thousand attack. They already have an easy enough time to decay, but each of them getting an additional thousand attack? Like, wow, alright. But I'm not sure if they play this because they don't like getting their cards banished generally. <sighs> but this card's not done. If any Thunder Monster is removed from the field, the controller of that card loses 1,000 attack. So it's kind of, I guess it kind of, you know, try to make it up for it. Well, if one of your monsters, Thunder Monsters, gets removed from the field, you take 1,000, like, and? I'm gonna beat the shit out of you with my Thunder Monsters, and I have a fucking mega macro. Like, the whole, the, the whole, this end phase shit with the Thunder Monsters and shit, that doesn't even ma mean shit. Literally, all this field spell said is that all cards are banished instead of going to the graveyard, and this field spell, this card, this, this card, field spell would already be played, because it's literally a field spell that banishes shit. Just the a fell spell that is a macrocosmos that's strong enough and you know, I could t totally see people who can actually play you know macrocosmos deciding in triple this and triple terraforming just to fuck up their opponent you know just fuck up shit all fuck up burning abyss just fuck them up because I got this field spell you know and usually you know back in the old days you know you could go ahead and put a field spell on top of the field spell and be gone but no 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 that ruling nope so you pretty much got to get something to pop this so you're getting fucked so there you go and uh, last effect, uh, when this card is removed from the field, both players lose 800 life points. Okay. But that first effect, the whole banishing instead of going to the guy, this card could literally just say that, and this card would already be busted. A filled spell macro, like, alright, alright. But that, that 1,000 attack on a Thunder Monster, specifically being Thunder King Ryo, ooh, you know, and if this card was in the OCG, I, yeah, I could see that. I could definitely see that, you know. Because, you know, Thunder King Ryo is at 3 in the OCG, and, you know, I know Vexicus actually put up a video discussing that Thunder King should go higher now. Thunder King is so powerful, and it being just generic and being a you know a lockdown beater like that's just ridiculous. You know, you know, mistake. I think mistake is powerful in itself, but it's, you know, at least it's not on legs. You know, at least you don't have to worry about your opponent just you know OTKing you. I'm well, not OTKing you, but literally beating you down with a mistake. You know, Thunder King is you know. Although it was a black horn in heaven in a sense, you know, something it's supposed to be, you know, two instead of three, but he's a black horn in heaven in a sense, and plus you can't search, like, whoo, like, no, 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 Thunder King Rider should be at one, when he was at three, he was stupid, but, uh, you know, I get it, you want necros, fuck necros, like, no, 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 that's not the correct answer, you know. There's other methods, you know, we already have Mistake. There's other methods that you can handle than just putting up Thunder King Rio because, you know, you're salty about necros, Exodus. Anyway, tell me what you guys think about this field spell. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Fake Card Friday. We've got a ton of more cards to review on Fake Card Friday. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys next Friday with another Fake Card to look at. Alright guys, thanks for watching.